of the public, I'm going to do another roll call vote just to formally uh, returning to public session after our executive session at 721 uh, via roll call vote. Uh, Mr. Hayes. Yes. Mr. Long. Yes. Ms. Limblom. Yes. Ms. Brinolini. Yes. And Gates is a yes. So we're back in public session. Uh, we really only have one item on the agenda tonight. Uh, and that is to uh, review and vote or discuss and vote the memorandum of understanding. I'll hand it over to Superintendent Burkhead. Uh, thank you, Chairman Gates. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm here tonight to discuss the uh, memorandum of uh, understanding with the uh, Teacher Teachers Association. And this is um, uh, part of our bargaining process as we move to the approved phase one um, schedule uh, that was voted unanimously by the school committee at our last meeting. Um, first, I just want to start by saying I want to uh, you know, thank the, um, the teachers um, for their hard work and dedication, the leadership for their work in this negotiation. It was very productive, positive, and unified. Uh, the message was the same. We want kids back. We want them back more. And how do we do so safely? I think that's reflected in this phase one, which in, in essence talked about bringing students back on Wednesdays in the hybrid model at all levels. And so again, the, the conversation was very productive and positive. This result, I'll just highlight some of the, um, you know, highlights of the document and um, we're looking forward and it was uh, voted by the STA pretty overwhelmingly and resoundingly today by our, our teachers in approval. And so um, I'll share a little bit. So a, a big part of the Wednesdays, um, I think what most people will see is the schedules are a little bit different than the typical Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And what, and the reason for that is we tried to get a lot into um, the best of what we were doing on Wednesday while getting the students back in person. And I think a lot of what we were doing successfully on the Wednesday was um, connecting with, with students. Um, also, it was um, connecting with those students that were falling behind so they wouldn't fall through the cracks. It was a big strength to that. It allowed students to take, take a little time to catch their breath and allowed teachers to collaborate to work on planning to make sure that the hybrid model, uh, which is very complex, as you know, working with students that are in your class and then students that are home in the remote C model um, at a high level is, is a pretty involved process. So that schedule had to be developed, um, basically a Wednesday schedule unique to itself to get all those strengths. And I think we accomplished that. Um, you know, they're a little different than the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, but for those reasons, and I'll give an example of the elementary school, you know, it, it appears that there's 30 minutes left less in person. I would argue that it's two hours more in person than we've had uh, last Wednesday. So this Wednesday, we're excited about bringing those uh, students back. Uh, but we talked about Wednesdays, there weren't any options for specialists uh, for those students to expand their learning in those areas. And we had an opportunity to do that. So what I think parents found today, hopefully they got their schedules that um, <coughs> students will now have specials on Wednesdays in the elementaries, which was missing. So, um, you know, middle school, we're bringing back music. So there's a lot of great things that we're able to incorporate into this. So Schedules are slightly different, and that's the reason behind that. Um, and another piece of this is, uh, you know, just flexibility. Uh, the teachers and the principals develop uh, the principals develop schedules. Work with the teachers um, again to, to to find a, um, a happy medium on getting the students back and working on all, all the strengths that we had in the current Wednesday program. And so those schedules were worked on um, together. So I think we've got a really strong product and also know that we're flexible. So we're gonna see how Wednesday goes. We have a safe and strong task force meeting uh, Wednesday night purposely. And that group will uh, be able to offer some feedback on the Wednesday. We also have surveys going out this week for phase two. Uh, keep in mind this uh, part of our plan on the phased in process for um, this program would be uh, four weeks approximately with uh, this, my recommendation that the uh, K through five students come back in person full time on the 29th. So for the elementaries, this is a four week um, process. And the concept is to get 
everyone kind of used to that going that five days a week and seeing their teachers every day and then trying to expand on that in uh, four short weeks. Let's see, I think the other part that we talked about in here is um, um, sharing with the teachers the options they have for social, emotional, and mental health opportunities through the, edu uh, the employee assistance program. Um, so we were able to share that information with them and have that option through their um, through the district and the town. And I think that's, and again, this, this is in place until we uh, potentially the school committee votes next week on phase two, and then we will negotiate those phases. But I think it was, again, in summary, our kids are coming back this Wednesday. Um, it was a, a unified effort by the teachers and the administration to bring those kids back Wednesday to work on those schedules collaboratively to get the best of both, to support our struggling learners and to push those that are thriving and bring them back in person all at once while adding a specialist into the elementary curriculum on a Wednesday. So I think we accomplished a lot and a lot of bright people worked on this and I wanna thank everybody and I wanna thank our team and, and uh, Mr. Long and, and Ms. Lindblom from the school committee who spent a lot of their time uh, in the negotiations and um, I really appreciate that. So that's what I have tonight. Great, thanks Superintendent Burkhead. Um, that sounds like great effort, great collaboration uh, to, between all parties involved. So we thank you for that. Um, and just for those that are joining us here, again, this is just a vote tonight. This is our discussion period and it's just gonna be a vote for the return to Wednesday. Um, we're not gonna be talking about anything else this evening. Um, so with that, I'm going to open up to the committee if they have any questions for Superintendent Burkhead. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I just want to reiterate uh, what Superintendent Burkhead had said. It was a great collaboration with the STA. Um, at the end of the day, we all want to be back in school as much as we can, do it safely for our staff and our students. And uh, this is a great step forward for the district. And, you know, ideally, soon we're talking about being back full time, but you know, this is a, a strong first step with, with our staff. I agree. Yeah. All right. Any other comments or questions? I think Ms. Brandolini. I know. I agree as well. I think it's great. I think it's good collaboration and uh, I'm happy to see the step rolling out this week and looking forward to phase two. All right. Uh, if no other questions or comments, I'm not going to open up the public comment at this time. We're going to vote first. So if I have uh, entertain a motion. Move that the school committee uh, approve the uh, memorandum of agreement with the uh, Citra Teachers Association uh, as presented. Motion by Mr. Hayes. Is there a second? Second. Second, uh, second by Ms. Limblom. Uh, roll call vote, Mr. Long. Yes. Mr. Uh, Ms. Bernalini. Yes. Uh, Gates is a yes. Mr. Hayes. Yes. And Ms. Limblom. Yes. All right, the motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much for all the hard work. Um, at this point on the agenda, we do have an opportunity for public comment. Just wanna restrict it to any comments regarding the uh, MOA. <clears throat> if not, um, our next meeting will be next Monday at the usual time of 6 p.m. Um, if you do have a, a comment, please, Use the option to chat. Uh, sorry, raise your hand uh, virtually, please. Seeing none, any other business by the school committee? Oh, we do have a late <laughs> question here. Miss <laughs> O'Neill, you know the drill. <laughs> sorry, uh, actually, Peter, I was I was not trying to raise my hand. I was trying to just scroll through who the participants were and I think I hit it by mistake so apologies hmm. that's all right well could, could you help those that because for some reason my view is odd can you tell people how to raise your hand so if you go to the three dots that says more um there's something that says raise your hand that's got it top. excellent all right so for anyone that would like to uh make a comment please do so click on your name in the chat on the more and then raise your hand I am seeing none. Uh, with that being said, any other business by the school committee? 
Nope. All right. Then I would entertain a motion to adjourn at 731. So with, the exception, with the exception of uh, Ms. Brinolini and Mr. Burke, if you could stay quickly after. Uh, motion by Mr. Hayes. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Long. Roll call vote. Gates, yes. Lindblom. Yes. Brinolini. Yes. Hayes. Yes. And Mr. Long. Yes. Great. I feel like I'm going to the principal's office. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not. You're not. You're 